Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome all of you back here again. And this is over the Waco fertilizer plant because this is going to blow your mind. I made a video here about this because it was premature, and I made it because it it the sounds of what we heard it sounded so much like a missile being fired into it, and the evidence of a glow going straight in the direction and, and the projectile going straight in the direction of the fire. When the fire was blowing in the opposite direction, it was literally in this way, right? Well, I've, the, I had the, obtained a photograph of this location. And this is an aerial photograph, as you can all see. This is in Waco, Texas. This is the fertilizer plant that you're all looking at on your screens. But what I'm looking here with all of the evidence of everything you see in sight, and I'm going to post this link up on the uh, underneath the video. All these links that I'm talking about will be posted underneath the, uh, the video once I'm done, and in the video in the uh, information tab when y'all click on it. So this shows me that no missile, no bombs were dropped into this location. But it doesn't mean that it was not attacked or, shall I say, an exercise being conducted there. I have evidence that shows very strongly that, a, uh, that some type of plasma weapon was definitely used in this location. And I believe that more so than I do the missile claim now, the more that I looked into this story. I told you I was going to give, when I, when I do a little bit more look into this, a little bit more research where we're going to find more information me and my wife my wife is actually the one who found most of this stuff so but when we look at it when we look into it I knew we were going to find a lot more stuff than what we were bargaining for again we find a drill this was an exercise that was being conducted one this is a chemical plant keep that in your mind it, has, it obtains uh, ammonia nitrate also pesticides fertilizers all these and this is definitely a chemical plant okay so keep that in mind because this next document is going to show you see how that we don't have no evidence showing a crater of a bomb or a missile firing into this place all we have is just a great fire and a great explosion this is the reason why I believe it's a plasma laser that was used as a training exercise because of this when you go on here and I go, which I'm showing, I have it uh, enlarged so you can see it. This is an actual official document website of the Homeland Security Office. Laser, what does it say? Laser decontamination. This is their, what they were doing. They create, they shine a light using, a, using lasers to decontaminate the site of a chemical explosion. You see what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? This is what they highlighted right here. This is their major th game. Now, I believe this is what they used because they're trying to uh, decontaminate a chemical explosion. What was the fertilizer plant? It was intentionally a chemical explosion so that they can use this laser decontamination light. This is what the light came from to cause this uh, to, that caused this massive explosion, which turned out to be uh, the reasons of, uh, hey, say, a burning off the chemical um, exposure, or shall I say, contamination. So now they have the ability to decontaminate it, and this was a training exercise. This is where we got this laser decontamination technology gets the green light. See, this is see Homeland Security uh, and Homeland Technology. They now have the rights to use laser. To decontaminate chemical areas, right here, industries uses lasers to make precision cuts and welds. Surgeons use them to repair uh, delicate tissues. Soon, Homeland Security personnel may be using lasers to decontaminate sites of chemical attacks. Researchers in the Idaho National Laboratory have come up with the novel way of decontaminating difficult to clean materials such as the porous cement or brick surfaces getting toxic contaminants off of these surfaces with conventional cleaning methods is difficult now and then it goes on I'm not going to read the whole thing because I got more documents to show you but as you can see they got the green light to do this to use lasers well this is an old document you're looking at using lasers to decontaminate the site okay chemical explosion this is about another document of the Homeland Security Another one from Homeland Security that we found. Look here. 
the objective of the D of the uh, the D2P, which is the uh, the Tech to Protect program is to develop and integrate biological threat sensors that can be placed in large critical infrastructure locations through the nation, such as airports, buildings, and subways, to identify and confirm biological agents within minutes. During the summer of 2012, the D2P systems will be demonstrated in a real-world scenario in the Boston subway systems. See, Boston's already on this subject, okay? Now, Lasers included plasma channel weapons prototype uses lightning bolts. Okay, this is another. These are weapons, plasma weapons being used as you know, or plasma lasers being used as weapons. And here you have the uh, also here the that is showing you uh, more information on the plasma weapons and lasers. And then also here you have uh, plasma cutters. Here you have more about the plasma uh, ignitions, plasma expansions, laser spectroscopy, and applied in materials groups. And you can see all the diagrams on here: plasma emissions and uh, particle uh, formations. And this is just giving you more reading and material to read from. So then also here you have Army looks to using what lightning weapons, which is what I showed you in the video. Remember now. If you don't believe me, they've been doing this with lasers. Here you go. They just recently did it. Here on April the 4th, they were doing a training exercise in South Korea after the the, uh, the, the North Korean tensions had built up. The South Koreans in the United States were carrying out a decontamination drills using what lasers, ladies and gentlemen? So, and then here. This is the patent of the of the of this uh you say this plasma spectrometer and also this is more information on the plasma and the patent overview. You can see all this information of the aerosol beam focused laser in, uh, induced plasma spectrometer device. It's also uh this is showing here where they where they allow them to go home. There's just more uh, reading material on here that I just I was looking for, but it's nothing here. But okay, now to show you that it's definitely involved with the fertilizer plant, ladies and gentlemen, is what you're seeing here is that if this was taken from a, a just a, a pedestrian, a person, residents that live in Waco who haven't been in this in Waco and at the time filmed this with their phone. Or with a camera. I don't know if they had a video phone, but it looks like a video uh, phone that's taken from a mobile phone. Films Waco utility vehicles, which is right here, right here, and right here. It's a five minute video. The person who uploaded this, his name is not me, uh, Smith Horry. Okay, this and this is the one who uploaded this video, and I hope he doesn't mind me using this video to, uh, to demonstrate it as proof that FEMA was definitely in the location at the time of the explosion and they were there exactly in that moment so they were there FEMA and DHS were there on the grounds boots on the grounds and they were definitely there preparing for a mass casualty drill and also a decontamination drill and this is right here you can also see the North Hills Hospital and the NCT uh, T, uh, Sorry, the NCT track uh, have chosen to cancel today. Okay, this is where this is where I told you the North Hills. They were all conducting a drill there, and this goes on to show you that this was definitely a government plant. This was definitely planned to be this way. Now I don't have any idea of knowing if anyone truly died there, ladies and gentlemen, but I do know. Again, we have evidence that they were conducting exercises and drills using this highly high profile laser weapon to cause this massive explosion as a way of training to see if this would be usable to decontaminate a biological and chemical uh, how you say, outbreak and this is what I personally believe that they were doing and I don't personally think they had any idea that it was going to cause a death the deaths may have been just only collateral damage is the way that they use the word that they use whenever an accident happens, whenever the, uh, and then it has that's resulted in death. They usually resulted as collateral damage. But nonetheless, we do now have proof it definitely was not a missile, 
and we definitely have proof it was not a bomb that was dropped from the sky on top of this place so this is this rules that out guys very clearly and this is and I appreciate all the people that really put their hard efforts into trying to find the truth here and that was a very good find that you you know that uh, that they assumed that it was a missile going into the thing but it turns out it's not because the evidence shows there's no crater in the ground if a missile had hit this a missile would have left an, a signature of an imprint in the ground that would be significant and visual even from this uh, angle and distance uh, from an aerial view uh, taken from this uh, you know from this uh, plane or helicopter that flew over this area so um, so ladies and gentlemen by saying that I can only best describe to you the way I feel I personally think that the, that the United States government were doing a lot of training exercises in these last four and a half weeks including with the Sandy Hook shootings in Boston so they're up to something guys something very big and it's just real and it's and it's beginning to really piss me off and this mass casualty drill that we were talking about this was done by the Northern Hills uh, exercise that was being that was supposed to happen you remember I told you my last video that I made I told you all let me open this up here real quick so you can all see what I'm talking about okay this is I'm sorry uh, this is the actual uh, web information here where they were conducting a mass casualty drill this even says it here on the document mass casualty drill guys we're not in danger our lives are not at threat and the only threat that's making it more significantly real and making an actual threat to us is our own government but why are they having a mass casualty drill why are they trying to tell us with all this here you have troops working together with law enforcement here you have now uh, hospitals media working together with them fake victims actors and all this stuff here they're trying to say that now we have a mass casualty drill they are not just doing this for drills ladies and gentlemen they're doing this because they are trying to tell you something that there is going to be a mass casualty event and these drills are just trying to train their ability of being able to clean the mess up after the disaster okay they are not warning they're not doing this for our own good for our own safety they're doing this because they're getting ready to do something very severe and the martial law is in place and you see in the military training with law enforcement because that's what's coming after your they create the mass casualty effect in real life in real time and real life deaths this is going to come real soon ladies and gentlemen but this is what I'm trying to share with you please guys this is real stuff man this is a really really serious business and we all stay alert to what's going on I have another video I'm gonna make one more video of Boston but this shows you that Waco is definitely a drill and it was definitely an, an you know an event that was happening and being conducted by FEMA and all the hospitals in the region DHS law enforcement military all of them are all there but this shows you evidence that a missile and a bomb was not used in that location because I don't have a, a, an actual visual of anything indicating a crater that's the only reason why I cannot say a missile was used here but I do believe more so I'm leaning more so to this as being the weapon of choice because they were because that's a chemical plant and what better way of training this kind of weapon is than to train it on a chemical plant to see how well it works and if anyone died there well they're going to look at it only as collateral damage it's okay just you know friendly fire so ladies and gentlemen that's all I have to say for all of you tonight on this video and on this subject I hope that this helps you all to see the truth as to what happened inside of Waco, Texas. By saying that, I'll wait to the next video. On I'm going to put another video up from Boston I found the, on the witnesses, the so-called victims coming forward that are not telling the truth, and you'll see it in their faces and their expressions. And we'll talk about that when we make that video. Until then, y'all take care. We'll see you on the other side.